will have the chance to welcome the visitors. And they should get the front foot, their forward should be going forward, but again, Italy will have something to say about that, I'm absolutely sure. Now listen to this crowd. Italy know the size of the challenge in front of them. They ran second in the world, awfully close here in round one. Casey again, Byrne, looking for the options, a key. Giving it to him on the outside, and van der Fleer is getting away here. This could be an early break for Ireland. Keenan on the left-hand shoulder, and James Lowe is there, looking for the corner. James Lowe dotting down. We're going to go upstairs for the grounding, I'm pretty sure. Yes. OK, so he's lost control. There's clear yep. separation just before the ball is grounded. Okay. No try. Knock on inning ball. Clear separation was the word. <laughs> The crowd love it, but what a start to this. We knew it was going to be a crackerjack game. But this is Jack Conan once again taking up the cudgels for Ireland, the Leinster and British and Irish lie, and then Beelan just looking on the dummy wraparound from Casey. Ryan, the captain, gets it away to low this time. He'll play it back in field, and it is going to be the skipper who goes over for the score. No doubt about that one, and Ireland are on the board. Advantage over for the knock on. Hold in front. Casey Hold here. For burn. Wingers on. He's not opted for touch. Keeps it in field where Garbisi will look across for Padovani. Might have looked to try and get it away to. No, 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 Manichello. second man. At the back, Brex playing the link man. Varney there again, it's quicker ball for Italy as Capuozzo joins the line. And gets it away. Twisting and turning and managing to get through goes Pierre Bruno, the Zebre winger. Middle tip ons. Cries of Italia, Italia go up and they might have the chance of the two on one here. Italy into the 22, still not held and up to the five metre line. It's the quick pick from Varney, it's the score for Italy. Unfortunately for Italy, they went into touch, so it's an island throw in. Come in. Thank you. In it goes, brought down from Henderson. And the Fleer will play away to Casey and Byrne. And Hansen joining, and then a key. And it's lovely for Keenan. And Keenan twisting and turning, escaping the shackles and under the posts. The Leinster man's been on fire throughout the Guinness Six Nations. And he fires Ireland to their second try of the match. Again, it's all about the passing, all about out of the back door. Is he fancying a run here? He's got a wall of green shirts coming towards him, but actually it works out quite nicely to find Tommaso Manancello. And Manancello puts the boot to the ball. Into the 22 goes Casey. Casey's got some work to do up against the Benetton centre. And it will be the Italian penalty. Is Galbisi for three. Never in doubt, Dami Morris. Italy up to ten. <laughs> Certainly been tidier on taking those restarts, Italy. Oh, and it's barracking run straight out of the 22. Second rows, Canoni and Rootser have done really well, but Ireland burgle it. Low for a key. And Casey, well, yeah. just struggling to get it away too quickly. Italy momentarily have backwards. no one in the backfield. No, move away. Just dropped a couple back there now, Garbisi. One of those as Casey will play away for Byrne, and it'll pop up in the midfield. Straight out the back from Ryan. Oh, and it's good from Ireland through Van der Fleer, who's finding another one of those gaps. And Lowe struggled to catch it, but did and fed Bundy a key. It's sublime from the Irish. In for their third try. Van der Fleer setting them on their way again. And a key is involved in everything.
Well, it's that left-hand side, isn't it? They keep coming down, the power in the game down that left-hand side. But does he turn that right shoulder and know what he's doing? Plenty would ask that question. Nicola Canone. So I'm seeing him holding Benetton, his right. second row. And a sporting coming together as Nicola Canone comes to just tap hands no, no with Craig Casey. Here we go again. There's going to be more of the same. Kelleher. With the second rows for company, then Jack Conan coming back round the other way. Van der Fleer Lawrence! trying to help with the shove. Casey, this time, they'll look to the right. This time, Mac Hansen will score. Inwardly, he will be happy with, obviously, the bonus point and the score, Lawrence! but again, another chance gone begging. Van der Fleer, across the face to a key. Oh, it's the intercept. It's going to be a chance for Pierre Bruno to get on his bike over the 10-metre line. Bruno will not be caught. Italy get their second try of the match, right on the stroke of half-time. Bundy Aki needed to be cleared out, and he was, as Lamarok takes it up. That was good, first one. But Ireland get in and turn it over. Oh, it's super from Andy Farrell's men. O'Toole perhaps sensibly decided it was worth leaving, then it comes through Ryan. It will be the three. The first points of the second half go the way of Italy. Out the back door it goes. Burn. Double hit on Ryan. Burn again will feed. Hansen, who looks inside for a key. Oh, the tackle was good enough, but he's that close to the line. And that will be the finishing. All to right. make the right, right decision. That is the right decision. Well, seem happy enough to play on. Well, Bruno was in front of Brexel. I'm sure Brex touches, so that's offside, accidentally offside. But again, the referee's there. Ireland get in and get the turnover, and they've been leading oh, yeah. that statistic all game. Good score. But coming back to that point you made, I know exactly what you mean, Nick. But actually, they're, they're fed up again, patted on the back. Low, combining with Hansen. Murray just offers it into the midfield. Blue bodies on the floor, trying to make the tackles. It's not too showy from Murray and Byrne, but it's what's needed as Doris makes the next carry. And then McCluskey. It's as close to up the jumper stuff as we've had all game, really. But it is what's required. Then it's for Doris once more, off Baird into the 22 aisle and continue to make the metres and then it'll be Mac Hansen on the shoulder of Conor Murray they kept bashing at the door yeah. and in the end they went in round the back I think Wayne Barnes flag will be the one that tells us the 80 minutes or 83 is up in Rome Italy are tired of being called valiant, but it's been an excellent display from them. That means the handshakes from Andy Farrell and his Irish charges have an extra bit of weight and meaning of what they've had to achieve in Rome this afternoon. Michele Lamaro will hope he's back to fitness in a couple of weeks for the next round. Four tries in the first half for Ireland. They had to work hard for the two in the second. As Italy drove them mighty close.